Hi everyone. I'm going to today describe and make some really good burritos that we used to eat when we were first married and we lived in Lawrence, Kansas. And I'm going to show you a picture because I just happened to pull this up on the internet um, yesterday because the place that we used to eat at is called Border Bandito and I wanted to see if it was still there because the last time we went through there through Lawrence, Kansas at KU um, the Border Bandito was still there and it was still the same owner was still there and everything and it was like hmm, 30 years 35 years or whatever after we've eaten there when we were students and this is a picture of the sign, the Border Bandito sign. And this is a picture of what I'm going to be making for you today. Right there. And it's actually a smothered burrito, wet burrito. Um, I don't know, different, sometimes it's a burrito enchilada style. They, they call it all different types of things. But this was really our first experience eating a burrito this way. And because usually we always you know, would eat it with our hands. And this was our first experience with that. Now they also made it with queso, which is right there. So that's actually a picture off their website with uh, queso sauce on it. And this is the um, after. So anyway, when I pulled up the on the internet about the Border Bandito, tell them about our Border Bandito. It's a great burrito. <laughs> the best one you can possibly so this get. Is, this is actually the owner there. And when I pulled it up, guess what? They closed this summer in June. Hi. They, <laughs> they make the best burritos you can ever find. They definitely do. And then so, we make even better. Yeah, we kind of add our own little touches. But it's this is play, paying homage to that, that burrito today. So anyway... Um, when I read up the uh, on the internet about it, they said it said that there was a whole story on there that the owner actually in June of 2020, I mean sorry, January of 2020, so that would have been even before all the COVID stuff and everything. He had decided that it was his 50th anniversary of of the place being open, and he was going to um, retire. So he's he's 65. He said, and um, he was going to retire and close the place. And it was going to close, he, he set his, his closing date as of June 2020. And so they have closed, but not interestingly because of COVID, but because he was retiring. He actually bought the place like in, in the 80s. So he's been running it since then. He's, he was, when we went back, he was, I'm sorry, he, he yeah, since like early 80s. And that's when we met him. And then when we went back, he was still there at the front counter. And anyway, so it has closed since then. So we're like a little sad about that. But anyway, we, can, we figured out pretty much how to make them at home, although there's still nothing like that good old taste of them. They were kind of nothing fancy, but it, they were good stuff anyway. So today I'm going to show a little bit how to do that. I've got um, most of the stuff already prepared but I'll show how to put it together so it's typical like a typical burrito and then Papu has actually made homemade enchilada sauce um, which we made with uh, dried chilies from our uh, Betty Jury's garden Betty Worth's garden and then um, I made some beans and rice and some ground meat that was the basic basis of them uh, I will say that I would probably, what we, we do a lot of times is just get, we could get uh, re, uh, refried beans and rice from the Mexican, from El Rancho Mexican market, stuff them with that and make them vegetarian. Um, they're real easy to do that way. You don't even have to prep too much of stuff that way. But um, today I made uh, the meat, the ground meat and the, the beans, um, refried beans and the uh, fried rice and then uh, the enchilada sauce. Then all the toppings, and we've got the, I also made a homemade chili con queso that will go on top of one of the burritos, and I'll show you how that goes. All right, and then 
everything we when I was growing up, everything was like supposed to be that was Mexican was always had to have a black olive on top or black olives on top for good luck. And these actually did have black olives on top of them. So I like to always put a black olive on top of whatever Mexican we're making. And then cheese and onion and tomatoes, whatever you want to fill them with. So let's start here with tortilla. All right. And then we're going to put some ground. And, and I will say that he, he, interestingly, whenever we went there, it was always, he always used Corel plates. And they were, you know, very well used Corel. I mean, it was like you could, they were kind of, the design was scratched off of them. They were used so much. And they were oval Corel plates, like a platter type thing. And he would build them right behind the counter. And then they all went to the microwave. They weren't in an oven. They went into the microwave to get their last melting of all the cheese and everything. So they took a little bit of heat for that, apparently, that they used a microwave. But I guess that's what made them so good. So anyway, so then fill it with some meat. And some beans. And I made these beans today um, from whole dried pinto beans, but they turned out really good, all nice and creamy. Alright. And some rice. And they, the one that we used to get was the meat and the beans. You could get meat only or beans only. This depended on what you like, but the one we got was always called the combo because it had rice, uh, meat, and beans with it. All right. And then I'm going to put in some onion in it, some tomatoes, and all their burritos always had shredded lettuce in it. Some shredded lettuce. And some sour cream. some sour cream. Alright. And then roll it up. Okay, so we roll it up on the plate like that. And uh, I think theirs were like uh, double the size. It was like a foot long burrito, but I just didn't ha get those type size of, wasn't able to get those size of tortillas. Alright. And then um, we're going to make this one with the enchilada sauce over it. Let's see here. Let me get a spoon for the enchilada sauce. Oh, I got it this way. All right. And just smother it up good. And it'll roll on the plate. Roll it over. And then lots of cheese on top. Okay. And then some black olives on top. And then we'll put it in the microwave. So that's how it looks before it goes in. And to put it in for about a minute and a half and see what that looks like okay now we're gonna make the one with the queso on top and then we used to all a lot of times get half and half with the enchilada sauce and the queso but this one's gonna be with queso on it okay Then let's see. Let me check. Papa, so we can check this and see how it's One doing. Minute. What do you think? A little bit more? Sure. A little longer? Maybe. All right. Just about another thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. All right. 
and then some tomatoes. And onion and some lettuce and some sour cream so they were pretty loaded but it's just so funny when you go back after 35 30 some years and uh, the place is still the same looked exactly the same had a there we go. And it's all ready to go. You gonna eat this one, sweetie? Yeah. Or you want the one with queso? You well, want a combo? I'll take a couple of bites all of right. this. <laughs> There's that. And uh, let's see. Let's do this one. All right. Oh, we gotta put. You want to put some jalapenos in this one or on top? On top. Okay. Put jalapenos on top. And, but anyway, um, still the same tables, the same look, the same, everything, the counter would look the same. In fact, I think they said that this sign, the article said that this sign, this Border Bandito sign that was out front was when they opened at 50 years ago. It was, that was the same sign and they just repaired it or whatever they needed to do, the lights and all that, but then it was, you know, pretty much the same thing. So, but that guy... He used to tell us, he goes, he goes, I spend my every day at this place all day long. He said, I, I work 60 to 80 hours a week every week. So he said, that's why I want to retire. So. Now that is a great burrito. <laughs> I've been eating it. All right, so we're going to put queso all over this one. Well, this spoon I don't think is big enough for this queso. Oh, well, we'll just put lots of spoons on it. Here, you want to hold it for me, sweetie? Sure. So I can put the kids on. Okay. Like that. All right. What do you think more? No, that's enough. Uh oh. <laughs> black Good pepper. Good catch. Black pepper. All right, and then some black olives. Okay. It's sort of like our our chichis that we go to. We will we will go a long ways for <laughs> for some, some certain types of food. We go a pretty long ways for it, don't we, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Let's see how this is doing. Nice. All right. Is it hot enough on the inside? Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm already halfway through. Sorry. Okay, now this one is going to get half of the enchilada sauce and half of the queso for the combination. We may have to invite somebody else over to help us eat all this. <laughs> Alrighty. Thing is loaded. I'll hold it for you. Loaded. Yeah, for the queso, you can. Here, you put the queso on. Oh, I'll hold it. You okay. go ahead. Okay. You got another sneeze in you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, forgot. All right, we're going to. You know what? Yeah, that's good. We might that's double. Good. No, double that's good. It. Now go the other side and put okay. the other one. All right. I'm you holding hold it. it up, so. I'm holding it. I think I got to put it down here. So okay, you. go for it. All right, and then cheese over all of it. And some more black olives. 
Did you want, oh, you want hollows on top of this one? At the end. Jalapenos? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I'll put some jalapenos on this one. Have jalapenos. Perfect. Yep, that's it. Right there. All right. Put the other one in. The other one's coming out. Ah. Oh, there you go. Nice and hot. All right. Last one. Boom. So, this one? Yeah. So that's the queso. And this queso recipe we perfected over the years to get uh, <laughs> to get it nice and creamy and to stay creamy like that. So it doesn't spoil. All right, so pull this one out in just a minute and we shall be to begin. Good to talk to y'all. Hope everybody's doing okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.